now have first versus Jadon here, Protoss versus Zerg, Korea versus Korea. So let's jump right on in to our first map. As we have spawning up to the top left hand corner, our red Protoss representing Incredible Miracle and Korea. Give it up for first! Down to the bottom left, our blue Zerg, representing evil geniuses in Korea. Give it up for Jadong! Oh, at first, uh, I don't think I've seen first do too many gateway expansions. So although he's very capable of doing that in this first game, he's going to open uh, with a pylon down his ramp, so probably a forge expand uh, and a quick scout, which is interesting. You don't necessarily always have to scout with this, but I guess Jadong is one of those players He's shown guts before. He's, yep. he's gone for some cheeses in some very important games, sometimes even the last game of a series. Mm. Sometimes he's pulled it off, sometimes not. But uh, first, he's not going to want to take any risks there. And I think this is a very good indication that first, he might want to play standard from there. Look, is he even going for the Forge on 14? Wow. Well, this is very early. Like, you don't have to do this. You can throw it m down much later. But I guess since he's, this is a four-player's map, ah. and he hasn't scouted his opponent first. But he's sending out the second probe. Is this oh. to say, just in case you're going yes. for the hatchery, I'm going to try and cannon rush, or just at least know where you are? Yes, very very nicely read here, Kailais. This is exactly what it, what this is. I think he's just going to want to cannon rush uh, the hatchery first of Jadong. And we have a hatchery first. So Jadong is going to need perfect defense, uh, which we've seen him pull off before. I think it was against Naniwa. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, we saw a very, very similar thing uh, with Naniwa trying to go for a similar build as well. His forge was a little bit earlier, I believe, uh, against this, but now he's moving into position. It's already been seen by the Overlord, so how well can this work out for first? Uh, it really depends uh, how he throws down the pylon and just if he's... Oh, no, actually, he's just faking it. I think he might realize, uh, since he scouted this very late and he's been spotted with the second Overlord, Yeah. Uh, this would be too hard to pull off. He probably... He has to add in uh, the games with his Naniwa, so he's just going to throw down a Nexus for now. I would have liked to see a pylon on the expansion. I think Jadong would have pulled a lot of drones, and then you just cancel the pylon, you only lose 25. But in this case, he just wanted to throw down his Nexus as soon as possible, and he did just that. No too better position here for first, as well as Jadong, as he continues to power on with his spawning pull just about to finish. Meanwhile, first just walling off, making sure that nothing crazy is going to happen. But gateway before cannon here, a little bit more of a macro focused and more kind of focused towards your tech build, as he doesn't believe there's going to be too many Zerglings out to pressure him very early, and he'd be right about that. Yeah, uh, I like the, that first open so safe in the first game. He didn't want to get to get surprised, to get tricked yeah. or anything. So even scouting with the two probes, he just made sure that he was going to get rushed by some kind of Zergling. Uh, Zergling's early on, he got his early forge, and he was safe against everything, literally. Like he, at worst, he would have had to make a pylon into his main, uh, in his main, and got a cannon there. But now he's going to be able to confirm the third, and he's going to be able to know that there is no very quick aggression headed his way. I think he's going to be pretty happy about pretty happy about this and start from the boosting probes. Yep, certainly so. Cannon's on the way as long as well as that cybernetics core here. And uh, he's, uh, he's not actually quite a boosting just yet. He's yeah. saving it up. Lots of energy in the main. A little bit surprising out of the player of this caliber. He, do you think he could be saving this for plus one and warp gate maybe? He's got, maybe. A, he's got 150 gas already, so we're going to see. Lots it's of Chronobu saved up in the main, actually. As a professional Protoss player, Todd, is this something that you have uh, gone to in the past in terms of putting on some aggression early to save up this Chrono Boost, or is this uh, something that first is, uh, you know, it's a little bit more stylized towards him? Uh, he doesn't strike me as the kind of player who would go for uh, a very, very aggressive build with uh, Chrono Boost on the wild gate. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, was, I could see him doing the plus one, plus uh, four gateway, Zealot aggression, but without Chrono Boosting the wall gate and plus one usually. And he throws down the Stargate, so I guess this is weird. Yeah. Look, the, the main Nexus is almost... Okay, it was almost full energy at this point, and he just Chrono Boosted uh, both of his Nexus. Okay, yeah, plenty of probes queued up there as well, so you can just kind of crank out as much economy as possible. And he's up to 33 probes against 34 drones, but that drone count now is going to start to climb up as well, very, very strongly here for Jadon, as he's getting a few Zerglings, just a sprinkling, to keep himself defended in the middle of the map, make sure he doesn't get caught off guard by anything. A nice position here for Jadon, just to say, I'm, I'm safe for now. And uh, there is a probe out on the map by first on the bottom right hand side of the map. Uh, he was on, okay, I thought he was going to get supply block, but uh, he had made a pylon in the corner of his base. And that Overlord, where is the Stalker? He's on the map. So the Overlord might be able to spot the Stargate here. First, he should have kept uh, his Stalker in, in his main. 
I don't know why he left the Zealot in the world and sent the Stalker out, but now mm. he might be scouted. You never want this to happen uh, against Zhenong. And behind this, he throws down two gateway, usually it's three, uh, to possibly go for some aggression. Oh, the probe out on the map. He's oh. gonna be found. This is big. Yeah, nice scout there by Jadong with these Zerglings, making sure he's covered every single position on the map. I mean, look at the minimap. It's almost entirely being covered right now with scouting. So Jadong really keeping an eye on things, taking yeah. perfect precautions against first. And uh, the fourth gateway was thrown down at the natural. First, he took the the third and fourth gases at his expansion. I wouldn't be surprised to see a robo. Yeah, we do see it go down now. And uh, he's going to start the Harass with the Phoenixes. Let's see how much he can do with that. He's going to have to do a lot here. I feel like Jadon, he's drawn perfectly in this game. He hasn't missed a single inject. He's throwing down his pork orders at the exact right time he has to now, just when the Phoenixes get there. Look, one single Phoenix is going to be attacking that queen. I think Jadon doesn't really care. Like, the spore's going to finish. The queen yeah, won't even yeah. die later on. And it was the perfect positioning for the queen as well. All too often you see Zergs leave their queen on the bottom of the hatchery, just to kind of where it actually spawns, but he brings it back to the mineral line. Ooh. Uh, first, he only saw one of, the, one of the evolution chambers. He didn't see both of them. If he had seen them now, uh, I mean, this is pretty important. You know that your opponent is getting upgrades and he's yeah. not going to be all that aggressive. You can even see if they are upgrading by the way they are moving. And I'm surprised uh, this, this happened. Usually first is the guy who, who sees everything. Very much so like Rain, uh, he's very good at scouting and adulting, but in this case, he has seen only one of the Evos. Oh, I think he's going to try and go and secure his third. There was an Overlord there, but it's not actually spreading creep, so he can't do that. Zerglings try and push in, but I don't think they're going to get too much done here. Yeah. Good force fields will save the majority of the sentries. Yeah, nothing died actually by first times. Jadon, if he had gone for a run by, it, the, the wall wasn't closed by first, so he would have had to warp a Zealot right on time. And with the 1-1 melee and Carapace upgrade uh, going down, and that infestation pit, we see Jadong reverting to his, uh, I guess you could say, all style, where you go for lots of Zerglings mm. into Ultras. Yeah, exactly. Now, there is still lots of pos possibilities. He could do something else, but uh, I really do think that that's what, what he wants to go for here. And all oh, those Phoenixes. Getting some nice kills on some drones here. It's a great tactic to go for on a map like that that is so wide open. If he takes engagements in the middle of the map first, could try and just stabilize on the three base and choke up those locations. Uh, but aside from that, whoa, Zergling's gonna run in here. Again, spending a lot of force fields. He can try and save as many of these units, but the Zergling's trapped in with those sentries. He catches two of them. Zergling's still doing, going to town on a lot of these zealots. And even more Zergling's coming in. Jadong is committed to this. Wow, this is a 1-1 one -one timing. Very, very strong here. First wasn't ready. He Missed the four skills, and his his, his third base oh. is gonna have to be cancelled. This is huge. Jadon behind this, he just has to take two hive, get some ultras, and he's gonna be in a perfect position. He's wow. already started to do. He's getting pathogen glands now, and first, he's getting colossus now. Does does he all in from there? I feel like he's in a really bad position. He might have to look. He's throwing down lots lots of gateways in his main. He's overly saturated on his expansion. We might we might see first not actually playing his very best here. He's thrown off his. He's thrown off his best game by Jadong playing so well. Yeah, I think he's in a terrible position. But the thing is, is that Jadong right now only has Zerglings. Pa getting Pathogen Glands, obviously, with Infestors would help out a lot. But once Thermal Lance is done with Colossus, that gets a little bit effective. Does first now just have to go before Hive is there, before Ultralisks are there? Yeah, possibly. Uh, and Hive just started as first left the main of Jadong. So he's not even going to know that this happened. I think he's just going to try to retake his third from there and play uh, safe and... I guess you could say turkey, like with some camping, but... Ooh, Jadon, going for the oh. huge attack on those units. Zerglings, are they going to actually kill off a Colossus here? If they do, that's bad times for first. He's actually going to get it. He gets the Colossus. The Immortal might end up falling as well. This Zergling assault by Jadon has been fantastic. Killing off army after army. These Zealots have not had a chance at all to deal with this. And Jadon in game number one looking great. Yeah, take, making every single decision right. First, has seen how many Zerglings there was. I'm surprised he didn't try to wall his army off uh, next to the Nexus. And now, he didn't have enough force fields too because of losing the first few sentries that he had. So he's actually, I feel like he's lost right now. He's getting one extra Phoenix, which he does not particularly need. Ooh, Jadong's gonna get right back in there. I don't think this time he should be able to make this work. He's gonna go for the target on the Nexus. Oh, will he be able to get it here? If he could, that'd be great. But I think at the same so. time, he cleaned up a lot of the Zerglings. He's gonna get it again. First, he's gonna lose it. He didn't cancel. 
Dong here with this aggression. And now behind it, the Ultralis Cavern goes down. First has a timer above his head. He needs to do something. As 3-3 three, three start, adrenal glands as well. Jadong in game number one is actually taking the fight to first so yeah, well. He's taking a force base. He's going to take the gases uh, dr just right as the hatchery finishes there. And Jadong is playing so well right now. He's not here for second place this time. I can, I can tell you this much. Oh, uh, yeah. And if he gets past this, he's going to have to go up against a Terran, which I think he's pretty happy with. Entirely depends oh. on how well he prepares. First, he, he didn't see the Hive morphing yet, uh -oh. so he's going to go. I think he's going to go and check on that now. He's going to see the Hive finish, possibly the Ultra Ace Cavern. If he goes in there with his Phoenixes, he's going to be he's gonna be like, oh man, oh. I need to start making some Immortals now. Um, the Infestors in the middle of the map were moving down to try and catch these Phoenix. These are the only thing that are keeping Jade on back just a little bit here. With those, that Phoenix harassment, very, very minute in detail though. As Jade for now, he flies in, he sees the Ultralis Cavern, he sees that whirring away as well with Chitinous Plating. Colossi are on the way, but I don't even think that's going to matter. Five Ultralis set in production, yeah. they are going to do so much damage. And Jade is on 80 drones right now, this is... This is almost perfect. He just needs a few more. He needs to saturate his force base very nicely. He's going to be able to get so many Zerglings and Ultras out that with these Queens in support and the Infestors, yeah. he can go for a kill move a, a little bit later on if he wants to. Or he can try. And for first to hold this, he's going to be so hard. I mean, he finally saw the Ultra is take. So from there, he's going to try to get as many Mortals out as he can. He's getting charged as well. He's getting the second Robo. But he needs basically to match the amount of Ultralisk with, uh, with the Immortals. If yes, there is six yes. Ultralisk out, he needs six Immortals. He's going to need a bunch of Archons to take. And look, he's going for a oh, wall off. This is that. so smart. Yes. He needs this. He absolutely needs this. He knows he needs to buy time when the engagement comes. Good Fungal oh. will lock down those Phoenix here as Jadong kills off a lot of them. Will want Infestor go down. Oh, a Transfuse as well. Saving that Infestor. Meticulous play yes. here by Jadong in game number one. And you know, there are some situations where doing this can be worth it because you, you make the Infestor use a lot of energy on this but no it, it wasn't one of those cases because the infestors they only use I think two or three fungals mm. they still have a bunch of energy and the phoenixes they really could have helped in the fight as well lifting uh -oh. all of those infestors and I think Jadong is he's gonna go for it. Jadong says the time is now. Those Colossi trying to do the damage from the back here, but Zerglings run into the back as well. They may actually mess with the Colossi, but the Colossi are doing a good job of focus firing down these Ultralisks where they can. Gateways buying a lot of time. One Infested Terran gets lobbed forwards here as Jadong tries to break this wall, and he's breached it. He is just about to breach it. One pile and a few more Gateways. Immortals coming in from the side. Great Transfuse is keeping these Ultralisks alive, but he has to pull back. The wall was enough for first to buy a little bit of time. Yeah, dude. Well, more than a little bit, actually. It was enough for him to hold this attack, which he wasn't particularly supposed to hold. I'm surprised Jadong even kept on fighting at this point. I think he believes he has enough economy to lose this army and yeah. still yeah. go for it. Oh. First got overconfident here. First, he moves out. He moved into the middle of the map. This is catastrophic for him. The Ultralis chase down the Colossi. They go down. The Immortals get pinned back with the Zerglings. And now Jadong, GG, game of 